This will be the first video in a series covering the elements of a crime. When we talk about elements of the crime, it's an important feature in criminal law. Uh, prosecutors are, are given the burden to establish corpus delecti, which translates to the body of the crime. Essentially, they have to establish that a crime has been committed before they can convict any defendant of that crime. So, for a police officer on the street or for a prosecutor, understanding the elements of a crime will be an important part of defining which crime has been committed in any given circumstance. The first element is the uh, actus reus. It's the guilty act. It's one of the most obvious um, elements because it's the thing that we actually see. It's the punch hitting the face. It's the, the trigger being pulled, the knife being thrust. An important characteristic in, in most criminal statutes is that the action be voluntary. The actor has to consciously engage in the action in a voluntary manner. So, for example, if a person has a, a, an epileptic seizure, uh, some sort of involuntary muscle spasm, and, and strikes another person, that would not fit under our uh, assault statutes because it was not engaged in, in, in a voluntary manner. There are three types of actus reus that we deal with, the first being the voluntary act, the, uh, the second will be a failure to act, and the third will be possession. When you think about the voluntary act, it's, it's typically what we'll deal with. Occasionally, you'll come across a statute that provides for a duty to act in certain circumstances, and when an actor fails to act, they are, are liable to be charged under that, that offense. One of the best examples of a failure to act is in the realm of tax law. If you fail to pay your income tax, you've committed a criminal action. You may not have voluntarily done anything, but a failure to act is, uh, is included here because you have a lawful duty to, to file your taxes every year. Another example of a, a failure to act, uh, when um, a, a child comes to school, maybe they have bruises on their body or face, uh, a teacher who suspects abuse uh, or neglect has a lawful duty to report that information to the state, and any failure to do uh, would be considered a criminal offense. The last form of action is possession. Um, as I mentioned before, possession of an illegal substance, typically a drug or a, a weapon, some sort of contraband, uh, will be the actus reus requirement for those statutes. Uh, even though it may not look like action, uh, the nature of the possession is the required element for those criminal offenses.